Hey guys, Josh from Spartan Reptiles, and uh, I want to thank you guys for joining, and I appreciate you guys all for check, you know, tuning in and watching and hanging out with us and enjoying and enjoying our journey as much as we enjoy it and going on the journey with us. Um, actually, what I have here is I have my founding female Thanos, Thanos female. Um, I bought this project from Jessica Bulka about two and a half, almost three years ago now, and uh, been working with it pretty hard and uh, produce some cool looking babies. And uh, I mean, this girl is just a humongous girl. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Uh, anyways, today's video is actually, I'm gonna show you some of the holdbacks that we have for 2019, or I, I should say, I'm gonna tease you with some of the holdbacks that we have. Uh, Cause I'm gonna show you some cool ones, but I'm not gonna show you all of them. And then uh, also in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and share a couple of the holdback or not hold back males, but males that I have in my collection that I've been raising up and uh, plan on pairing up this coming season with some females. And uh, also uh, we went to the homecoming game, for, uh, football game Friday night. So I have some footage of that for you guys to check out as well. And uh, so without further ado, let's get on with it and let's check out this video. So here's one of my holdbacks for 2019. And the pairing on this one was a pastel Mojave to a Mystic. And as you can tell, this is a pastel Mystic Potion. Just an amazing, amazing girl. Growing nicely. And uh, I definitely can't wait to get her up to size and actually get her breeding. Um, got some cool ideas I want to do with the the Mystic Potion and the Pasto Mystic Potion project. Um, it's definitely been, you know, pretty much a fan favorite. Uh, people that follow me on Instagram and follow me on uh, YouTube and even follow me on my Facebook page are uh, always asking about the Mystic Potions and if I have any available. And, um, so I do plan on producing some more next season and uh, due to the popularity I'll probably do that pairing quite often at least once every other year or so just so I could have some Mystic Potions available for those who want them. And I'll get you another better look at her. We'll take a better look at her and uh, just admire her beauty. So the uh, the next hold holdback or was going to initially be a holdback, uh, we ended up deciding to donate to the local high school here in Libby, Montana, and uh, the bi we're giving it to the biology teacher. Um, he does already have one in his classroom, and it's a classic wild type or normal, and uh, we thought we'd give him something with a little more genetic diversity to it. So what we decided to do was go ahead and donate this beautiful, beautiful pastel red exanthic female. She is just amazing and gorgeous. Pattern is typical of your pastel red exanthics, but the contrast is just amazing. Just a real, real super fine example of the pastel and red exanthic genes combined. Just a beautiful girl, super, super tame. I think she'll be a great addition to the high school. So we'll go ahead and we'll get you a little close up video of her so you can admire her beauty without my ugly voice. So one of the holdbacks from uh, this year as well, uh, the pairing was a BHB line chocolate to a yellow belly female. And uh, 
not real sure on the genetics of it. I definitely know there's yellow belly in there. And if it's just yellow belly, I mean, it's an amazing, amazing uh, example of just a yellow belly. Uh, new to working with the BHP line chocolates, so I really don't know much about them. Uh, I try to do my research on them as much as I can. Uh, but anyways, you guys can see what I mean. I mean, this, this girl is amazing. And uh, I'm going to keep her just so I can prove her out and uh, find out what she really is. But here's a, I'll give you some footage of her right now. But if you see, I mean, she's got a really, really high extreme blushing coming up between the patterns. She's actually got some real cool floating alien he uh, alien heads. I mean, look at that. Just this alien head just floating right there. Amazing blushing, like I said. And uh, definitely yellow belly because it really models up the, the belly pattern there. I mean, you can just see it. There's definitely, definitely yellow belly in that. And uh, she's got a real nice dark contrast. Compared to the pattern, the pattern's kind of whacked out a little bit. But, uh, I mean, just a beautiful snake, beautiful girl all together. And I look forward to working with her in the future. Because I think it's going to be exciting what I do with her. So there's a little bit of a teaser on some of our holdbacks. I do have more. Uh, I actually have several, several more. And uh, Talia's coming in to say hi. Hi. <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying, we have a lot of holdbacks that we haven't even mentioned in the video, huh? Yeah, so we have a lot. Um, out of 23 babies and Minus the ones that I have sold. Well, actually, 23 babies that are here. Uh, all but, like, four are holdbacks. Uh, so that gives you a hindsight that uh, I got some cool stuff going on here. And I'm just not ready to release that yet. Um, so, uh, on to a little bit different subject. Now I'm going to go actually show you a couple males that I actually am raising up. And, uh, matter of fact, I should have one that will be breeding this year, uh, this coming season. And the other one, um, uh, possible. Because, I mean, he's eating well and he's growing fast. And, uh, hopefully he'll get up to size and be, uh, mature enough to go ahead and produce some awesome combos for us here this next season. So let's go ahead and get it onto that. So the first male I actually bought from Jessica Bolka last year and uh, I've been raising him up since then and this is my probably my biggest powerhouse male in my collection so far. Um, over time it will actually you know the collection will grow with more powerful males and more powerful females and it's just a uh, progress. But uh, anyways this here is a cinnamon spider bongo. And uh, I really like how the bongo reacts with stuff. It really kind of breaks up the pattern. Uh, it doesn't make the spider pattern quite as dominant. It's got a super nice clean belly. Uh, the cinnamon, I mean, kind of, you know, you, you can tell it's there. But the bongo's really lightening it up with the combination of the spider in there. But, I mean, this guy is a powerhouse stud. And uh, really looking forward to uh, siring some clutches with him. And, uh, you know, later on in the future here as the breeding season starts for us, you guys will uh, get to see what we're going to pair him with. So, 
we'll go ahead and uh, yeah. I would try to get some more footage of him for you, but uh, he doesn't sit still. So uh, maybe when I can catch him sleeping, I'll get some still photos of him and I'll actually just post them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And another male that I've been raising for quite a while is actually a super red exanthic. And uh, as everybody knows that follows me, I love the red exanthic and the hit red exanthic. And uh, I plan on doing a lot with it and seeing what direction I can take it. And this boy is amazing. I got him from Dynasty Reptiles about two years ago. And uh, last year I had some other plans and so I didn't use him. But uh, this year I will definitely put him to a female or two just so I can produce uh, some cool combos and with him being a super everything will come out hat red exanthic so let's go ahead and get a look at him this guy is just I love this guy to death I mean I just love the way the pattern looks I love the colors of the snake itself I love how it reacts with jeans like Lesser and Mojave. Um, you know, and those are just a couple of jeans that I've seen it in that I really like. And if you guys haven't uh, really ever paid attention to the Het Red Exantic gene or even the Super Red Exantics, you guys go check out Corey Woods Reptiles because that guy is producing amazing stuff with the Het Red Exantic and Red Exantic. Uh, and, and combos, I mean, just things that you wouldn't even imagine that you can come up with out of a snake like this. But uh, definitely amazing. Okay, so to finish up the video, um, we went to our high school homecoming football game Friday, and uh, the team is doing wonderful uh, as of Friday night at their homecoming game. They are now 6-0 and and uh, top rank in their division for the, in the state of Montana, which is amazing. Uh, so go Loggers. And uh, so I want to share you some of the highlights of the football game. And... Uh, you know, the Lady Loggers soccer team, they gave a good effort against Polson for their homecoming game. They did lose 4-2, uh, but nonetheless, they tried their heart, hardest, and they, they played their hearts out. And uh, that's all you can ask for. Mm -hmm. um, they tried. They gave it their best. And uh, you know what? Win or lose, we support them. So, uh, to finish it out, I'm going to go ahead and throw the highlights of the football game on there for yeah. you. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know we enjoyed being there and actually taking the footage. And uh, as always, keep on herping. <laughs>